Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Joe Me, Joe Mai here. I just wanted to take a moment with Thanksgiving uh, right around the corner. I mean, as I'm recording this and uploading it, I think Thanksgiving is like a, uh, a week, a week and a half away. <clears throat> and I just wanted to take this moment and say thank you guys for watching my videos, for subscribing, for commenting, for liking, for whatever you do that you do. Uh, I'm trying my hardest to provide great content for you guys that you guys find enjoyable. And I, I, I honestly, I get excited every time I see that one of my videos has a new view or I get new subscribers, even more exciting. Um, and I'm like only at seven subscribers right now, but even then that's a big number for me. That means that seven people have found me enjoyable enough that they subscribe to my content. Um, and that's, that's awesome for me. I love it. But <clears throat> I just wanted a quick thank you guys uh, for everything that you've done. If you guys are sharing my videos, awesome. If you guys are liking, commenting, if you guys are watching all the way through, everything you guys are doing, thank you. With that, <clears throat> I wanted to, with Thanksgiving, I wanted to just kind of share some of my old Thanksgiving stories. Um, I got two of them that I don't have like a whole bunch of Thanksgiving stories that I'm going to pile on. I have two of them that I've always found really enjoyable. Um <clears throat> And I apologize for my voice and my sniffling. I am getting over a cold or I'm catching one. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to try and fight it as best I can. Um, but the stories, yeah. <clears throat> the first one that I have, it started when I was about 16, 17 years old. I was working at Sonic Drive-In. Um, and I went into work that day at 3 o'clock. And then my shift ended at, like, I think, 12.30 that day. <clears throat> Sorry. My shift ended at like 12:30 that day, and uh, I remember it was all it was busy pretty much the entire day. I mean, there was no break whatsoever. So I was working drive-through that night, and yeah, I was working drive-through that night. And around about 9 9:30, she got really packed. It, I mean, it was pretty busy throughout the whole night, but it was all the way packed up. Sonic has this thing that if you're the front car. They're not going to ask you to pull forward and get to the next car. No. Or, you know, yeah, they're not going to do that. They, they either A, take the food out to you, or B, wait till you come up. Most of the time, it's they always take the food out to you in drive through So I was sitting in drive through I had a car who was still waiting on their order. Uh, one guy had finished up his order, so I grabbed, backed it up, and I take it out to, the, to him and – processing it and everything and he's just like man having to work on thanksgiving that sucks i'm like yeah it does but the managers provide us some food in the back and yeah, it's okay you guys need to eat food too <clears throat> so I'm, I'm okay with it it's like oh man i am sorry you, you work on thanksgiving man that sucks uh, but he gave me his card i gave him his food i went inside i processed it came back out so he could sign it and whatever and then with like with most restaurants, you can uh, leave a tip or you can just sign it or whatever. And he grabs it and he's just like, okay, I'm going to give you something special because you're having to work on Thanksgiving. I feel really bad for you having to work on this. So he, he types it. <clears throat> now, at this point, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I'm going to take a drink of water. <sighs> um, so it's at this point that the inside me, my 16-year-old, is just sitting there, whoa, I'm going to get a tip. I don't care if it's five dollars. I don't care if it's ten dollars. I can eat off the menu. I don't have to eat that nasty food that my manager brought. Woo! So I'm all kinds of excited, and I'm, I'm still on the outside of me. I'm like, oh no, man, you don't have to do that. It's 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 perfectly fine. It's okay. It's like no, no, no. I want to. So he fills it out, and I didn't look at the receipt because I was trying to be professional. I didn't look at it until I went inside, and. Uh, he gives me the receipt. I'm like, okay, man, have a great night. Happy Thanksgiving. He goes inside. I go inside. I'm pitching. I'm still all kinds of excited. I'm like, oh, I can order a burger, Sonic burger. Sonic's is the best. Um, and I grab the piece of paper. I open it up. He left me a 10-cent tip. 10 cents. 10 pennies. Inside me just died. Like, it's just like, oh, you went, you gave me all, all that it had joy and excitement. And then you crush it with, like, ten pennies. I ended up just leaving the till and leaving in the till and being, like, ten cents over in my till. Um, but, no, nah, I mean, looking back at it, yeah, I can understand, you know, not a lot of people tip fast food servers, uh, let alone. I, I don't know what his financial situation was or anything like that. I think his meal was only, like, nine-some-odd dollars. Um, and you rounded it off to ten. 
But uh, it, it, still, I back then, I was so excited to get that food, that money, and to be able to order off the menu. It just, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, that's one. Uh, the second one that I have uh, was about two or three years later. I was still in North Carolina, and my parents had moved up here to Seattle, Washington, uh, and left me and my sister down there. That year, I was dating a girl, and we had made plans for Thanksgiving that I would go over there for her family because uh, my parents left in the summertime. About September or, o September or October, uh, we broke up, so I, that's a whole another mess and I didn't want to go go Thanksgiving with my family. I'm like, no Thanksgiving dinner with my ex and her family who don't like me or Thanksgiving dinner with my sister. Both are not very good options. So I'm like, no, what? screw it. I'm single. I'm gonna go to Hooters. For the chicken. For the it was for the chicken. So I pulled up directions, I get in my car, I drive three hours to the closest Hooters. Um, and uh, it was only me and like three other got three other tables there, but uh, <clears throat> I drive three hours for the for the closest Hooters, and I wanted a somewhat big meal because it was Thanksgiving. So I ordered appetizer, I ordered a salad, I ordered an entree, I ordered a dessert, <clears throat> all for the chicken. I get my and my appetizer. My server brings it out. She takes my cup in the back. And at this time, I'm really enjoying my frickles. And if you, for those of you who don't know, frickles are fried pickles. You wouldn't think it'd be such a good thing, but it actually is really good. Um, server comes back out, and she puts her. And I'm sitting in one of these little cubicles where a family of four can sit. She puts her leg right next to me on the bench, and she's got all this white stuff all over her thigh. And I'm thinking in. I'm trying to just like not be focused on that, but um, she goes off and says, "Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I, like I was feeling. I'm sorry if I'm gonna offend any white girls. This is my best white girl impression. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Yeah, I was like feeling your cup, and I bumped into one of the the cooks back there, and he jumped all of this powdered sugar all over my leg, and I tried getting it out back there. I used a rag. I like." I used everything I could to get it off. And she, she's sitting there brushing it off of her thigh and uh, gets a little bit on my thigh. And so she brushes it off of my thigh. And then she's like, can, do you think you can help me with this? So then here's the thing. I was raised as being a gentleman. You know, treat, treat a woman with, and I still believe in this, treat a woman with respect. Treat a woman as how, not objectifying them and like all this kind of thing. I was Born, bred to be a gentleman. I open doors for, for women. Um, <clears throat> but the other side of me, I was 18, 19 years old. I was a horny little devil. Horny little devil. Who was probably a little bit more of a pervert. So you have the 18-year-old me, and you have the gentleman side of me. You, you got the 18-year-old me version sitting there saying, Oh my god, oh my god, touch her leg, touch her leg, touch her leg, touch her leg, damn it, she wants you to touch it, she wants you to touch it, touch the damn leg, and then you have the gentleman side of me, it's just like, this is such a good frickle, good frickle, lovely frickle, this is a really good frickle, um, apologize about the leg and eat the frickle, eat the frickle, eat the damn frickle, Needless to say, the gentleman side of me won. I didn't touch her leg. Um, I did eat the frickle. I'm just like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry about that. And uh, she's like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. She walks in the back, and that was the end of that. Man, she had some long legs, though. But uh, she ends up bringing out, and, and this is, that, that wasn't the topper of the evening, but that was just a good part of it. Um, my entree, my salad. Both of them came out with, like, really, really raw chicken. I mean, like, it was white on the outside, but, like, a thin layer of white, and then the rest of it was just pink. Um, so I, I didn't I didn't want a chance eating that. Salmonella! Um, so I, I, I just said I wasn't really that hungry, and I just ate my frickles and I ate my dessert. I didn't want to send it back because it was Thanksgiving, and I know how much it sucks to work on Thanksgiving. But, uh... I know the the whole what the powdered sugar thing was just a ploy to get more tips out of me. It worked. Um, 
I think my bill was like $78 or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but I know she walked out with at least 100% of the tip or 100% of the bill. Uh, I think I gave her close to $75, I think. If memory serves correctly. Anyways, those are my two stories. I'm sorry I took up so much time. I didn't know they were going to be so long. But those are the two stories I have for my Thanksgiving. If you guys have great stories or even if you guys have a small story of just one time I ate with my family and we went to McDonald's. Awesome. I want to hear about it. I want to hear about it in the comments. If you want, make a video and I'll watch it. Um, I really want to hear from you guys about your guys' Thanksgivings. I only have two of the memories that I've shared with you. There's many more, but I don't want to take up any more time. But yeah, feel free to, to even in Facebook or Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description. Um, just leave a note just saying, hey, yeah, this one time I had Thanksgiving and we brought the turkey. Yeah, awesome. I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, but that's all the time that I have for today. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Um, the schedule. I want to talk to you guys real quick about the schedule on my uploading schedule. Um, right now I'm playing Mayhem Triple, and I'm also playing the Shadow Man Hat Ward, or the, the Hat Man, the Shadow Ward. Um, what I'm going to start doing is Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be my regular video game uploads, whatever game I'm playing, Mayhem Triple or whatever. Um, and then Saturdays are going to be saved for Saturdays are going to be saved for horror days. Uh, any horror game that I'm playing, I'll be uploading on Saturday. If that schedule works for you guys, let me know because I'm trying to cater this all for you guys. I really want you guys to get the best enjoyment out of this content. Um, so yeah, if if that schedule works for you guys, let me know. If you guys want to see something different. Let me know uh, if you want me to focus mostly on horror games. I can do that and save Saturdays for Mayhem Triple or whatever. I can do the other two days. Uh, but, yeah, let me know in the comments or Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. Anyways, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys for sitting through with it. Hope you guys don't always have – my mouth is all over the place. Hope you guys have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for sitting through this video with me. I'll be waiting for you guys in the next one. Until then, do what you guys do best. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay beautiful. Bye.